the ring's very soft. I was in it earlier. And these boys being a little bit heavier. This is a 75 kilo division. Ten seconds to go. I just wonder. Yes, here he comes. Here he comes now. Silvers. Good finish. I'm not sure whether those punches landed. He threw pl plenty of them. But then again, there's five judges, and they can only see one angle at a time. You just see this charge that he put it on. You can see the punches that Silvers is throwing. None of them are landing. The Fijian, in fact, counterpunch with a beautiful right hand. Didn't really have that much power in it. Nothing in this fight. Nothing in this fight. Vanuatu have got 10 fighters. This is the second of them. We've already had a win just moments ago. Johnny Silver's winning his bout against Terry Stephen. Round two. Round two. Tony Kenny will the referee. He's in the land of the Giants in there at the moment. They're big boys. I'm just wondering what the tactics will be. I'm reasonably confident that Silver's will throw more punches and get in close and staying close. Don't let the taller Fijian throw those long left hands. So he's going in there now. He's going in. He's cutting him off. That's what he's got to do. When you're shorter, you've got to make yourself even shorter. Now, both those punches then went over the head. They weren't scoring, but then again, the Vanuatu fighter Silvers did duck his head a little bit. He got a caution. In center ring, who's doing something? Silvers got a right hand net scored. No trying to throw a punch from a long way away. It's all right if you can land. You're better off getting in close. Silvers needs to go inside under a left hand. Then get inside, throw a left hook. There's a good body punch. That's what I'm talking about. Get in there, then start the counter punch. You can see Ravuti is throwing them from a long way away. But he's not landing. Long way away, swing, swing punch there. Silver's smart, but he's coming in one direction. He needs to step side to side. The Fijian needs to get that left hand moving. Starting to work the left hand a lot more. Score some points. Right at the moment, he's not landing enough punches. Silver's is probably just in front, only because of the amount of punches he's... Oh! That left hand landed. Right on the bridge of the nose. Left and right, a little bit too far away. Ravuti trying to counter punch, but he missed. Needs to get that left hand going. Oh yeah, that's better. Long right hand missed. Silvers, he's got to work inside. He's got to get inside, work inside. It's got to be like a mosquito. Be a pest. Throw them all. Here he goes. Left and right again. Oh, yes. They landed. They landed. They were scoring punches. Again, I've said this all the fights so far. The last round's going to win it. As we go into the third round, now I'm more than confident that the crowd are certainly going to rev up. Louis Silvers, he might be 30, but he's not showing his age at the moment. Look at the right hands, left hands, goes to the body. 
Just got caught with a long right hand there from the Fijian. Wasn't a hurting punch, but it did score. Now you can see the, well, that's the corner of the Vanuatu fighter. But I was over just a few moments ago from the Fijian corner, and uh, he is agitated. He's really giving his fighter a dressing down. In other words, I, I think he's probably saying, win this round and you'll win the fight. So get out there and get into it. Nice left and right. Good scoring punches. Now the Fijian's starting to land with a few. The right hand might have scored, but the first two didn't. In centre ring. Fijian, I don't know why he's not bouncing around with that left hand. Pick up points. He's tall, he's long, he's use your distance. He's got his hands down, dropping them. And Silvers balks with the left hand and throws a right. He'll land with a bomb. He'll hurt him. They only need to throw scoring punches now. They only need to throw one or two at a time. But they're scoring. You go, oh, right hand from the Fijian. And a left hook. Now Silver's trying to work from the inside with those touch hand gloves. They're 12 ounce gloves. But he's just sitting there, oh, don't do that. Don't do that, the Fijian's got confidence now. Oh, right hand, good punch. Goes to the body, left hook, right to the body. Silver's in a bit of trouble. Silvers doesn't want to be there. The Fijian's only got to throw a couple of straight punches. Why is brawling? He's got me beat. He's tall, a long arm. Here comes Silvers. Here comes the crowd. Oh, and Silvers goes back with a long left hand. The referee doesn't put a count, no. Ravuti with his hands down. Nothing in this fight. Some clean scoring punches will win it for them. Long left hand. Mouth guard out. This is the second time the mouth guard's come out from the Vanuatu. Lewis Silvers. No problems though. He got hurt with a beautiful left footman and a right grip to the body. Then he came back, but they weren't scoring punches. You can see, he threw four or five, oh, that one landed, a beautiful body punch. Keep it clean in there. Oh, look at this. The BJ wants to steal this. He wants to steal it. Alawati's got to go on the attack. Got to go on the attack, and as he does now, but he's not scoring. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I'm going to have a go. I have a feeling that the blue corner may have just snuck that. May have just snuck that on a split point. To say, I could be wrong. I'm not a referee and judge. But the punches at the end, I just think, anyway, we'll go up for the decision. Checking the scoring, I'm not, I can see the officials behind the Vanuatu opponent. They're checking the, the scoring from the five judges. They're doing that right now. That's Keith Walker with the check shirt on, international. He's in charge of the referees and judges. Uh, here we go. The announcer will now go. Uh, here's the decision now. <laughs> How about 
out that Benawatu, one after another. Lewis Silvers. The Fiji is on Abbey, but there was nothing in it. Fairly confident it would have been a split decision. You the last night, last night, As I was saying, the BT has came back. We are coming up to our last bout of the evening shortly. And that will be in the middleweight division. Sua from Samoa. Lakakai from Tonga is in the blue corner. Your referee is Ross Stubbley from New Zealand. Seeing some of the finishing of uh, that fight. It's a good fight. The Vanuatu boxer Silva's just relaxed a little bit in the last round. That was the problem. And, and, and in boxing, you can't do that. And when he relaxed, it allowed Ravuti from PG at confidence. If you see there now, Keddy well separating them, but Anyway, Vanuatu and two fights, the two wins. That's for a party Sua from uh, Samoa. And there's his opponent, Makakai from uh, Tonga, middleweight division. Three three-minute rounds. The Samoan in the red corner. A junior. First fights in the uh, senior rankings. The both fighters looking to move forward. Maybe yeah, try and make that Commonwealth Games team on the Gold Coast next year. What a what a wonderful 15 days of action that will be. Here we are, round one, last bout of the evening, the 75 kilo division. Well, the Samoan, he may be younger, but he's not frightened. Going in, he's with left hands up high. Oh, got caught with the right hand. Need to put it up a little bit higher. Got caught, but he's now come on the attack. Lalakai, Tonga in the blue. About the same height, both orthodox fighters, and oh yes. Sua now starting to really open up a little bit. Four bounce class, I got caught then. It's a good punch from Lalakai, good punch. Might have only been one, but it scored. Ross W, referee from New Zealand. He's going to have a busy night. They're in the neutral corner. And the referee just says break and just get on with it. And they go. Solid. Both boys, middleweights. 75 kilo division. Clubbing punches. I'm not sure whether they'd be addressed as scoring. In the knuckle park, you can see the tie shan on the glove. See the tie shan mark? Well, just go a little bit lower than that. That's the knuckle part of the glove. That's what's got to be the scoring point. The inside of a glove is not scoring. See the tie shan? That's what's the scoring. Just below that. A knuckle part. Oh! Whoa, whoa. Oh, what did I say? What a great punch! Caught him with two right hands. And Sewer says, I'm all right. He's bouncing around everywhere. I'm all right. But right at the moment, he's given the man in blue a little bit more courage, a little bit more confidence. 
Wide hands, both of them. scoring power good right grip the Samoans got a, a wonderful variety of punches the Tongan just starts shapes up southpaw for a second I don't know if that's a smart idea remember a knockdown doesn't necessarily mean you win the round oh right grip what a beauty the Samoans scoring Two right grips, beautiful punches. Dudley separates him. He's back. Well, he had a fight, there's no doubt about that. Sewell in the uh, in the red, Lava Kite in the blue. The silver to this action, we might see uh, the heads may have flashed there. Now, Stubley's just in the way at the moment. Now, this is where the little right left hook it was. It was a little left hook as he went back on the ropes. Lagakai caught him with a little left hook. It didn't go far, but it was a great scoring punch and it hurt him. But what it also does, it gives him confidence. Plenty of confidence. Lagakai now long, sweeping. Lefts and rights. And he goes on the attack. We'll see this left hook here in a minute. There it is. See the little left hook. Just caught him. Actually caught him twice with it. Well, we're back live now with the action. The sewer. We'll try and make amends of that first round. Okay. Trying to fight off the back foot. If he's going to do that, he needs to get off the ropes. Don't sit back on the ropes. We've got nowhere to go, nowhere to hide. Sewer. So he's right to left, right to left, the hook. Nice punching. Okay, he's, not, he's not defending himself. He's got his hands up, but he's not defending. He's got to throw a punch. Trying to keep them separated. This is a wonderful middleweight fight. There's those swinging punches from both of them. Now one of them, one of them may land, and one of them, if he gets a, if he gets a good punch in, it could be all over. Bombs. Left hook. Not scoring. Lagokai goes to the body. Both tired. 
for Samoa. Sewell coming on the attack. Again, right hand, good punch. That landed. The right foot to the body. Ten seconds in this round. The top of the landed, a beautiful punch, and he's on the attack. He's got him. He's in trouble. Oh, the battle saved him. Oh, Willis. Oh, the battle saved him. Oh, the Did they come to fight? My word, they did. I'm not sure how many people are in the crowd. But let me assure you, ladies and gentlemen at home, we're coming up in the third round. There is nothing in this. Now, that punch there that Lakakai threw in the back of the head, luckily it wasn't intentional. It did hurt his opponent from Samoa. Third round. Who's going to win it? Who's going to win it? These uh, replays will go back into the fight now live. Oh, he's a of tie now. And Tonga. Again, the third round can win this fight. Nothing in it. Sure, I think, won the first. The left guy now was sweeping left hooks, going to the body. Stubbley breaks him. I think Stubbley's going to be a little bit closer to the action. These two boys are throwing punches all over the place. Oh, right hand. Good punch from the man in blue. That hurt. Sua winds up. Oh, okay, he landed then. If the top one's going to stand there, Sue will keep throwing them. Right hand clubbing didn't score. Oh, that right hand did. Oh, here he comes. Out of those five punches, only a little left hook scored. Stubbley breaks him. Swinging punches. They both put up a marvellous performance. This is a wonderful fight. As you'd expect between a Samoan and a Tongan, why wouldn't it be a great fight? One of the great fighters that have come out of both these islands. Both fighters struggling a little at the moment. But I warn both of them. If you rest too much, you give your opponent a little bit of aggression, just like that. And a couple of clean scoring punches could turn this fight on its ear. Whoever he's going to try, he's going to break him up. Now, if I was the man in red, Sua, I'd just back him up and throw as many as I can. Go on the attack. It's exactly what he's just done. Go on the, if he wants to win it. If he wants to win it. Right hand, that landed. That scored. Nancy Lagakau from uh, Tonga. Very tired. Look where his hands are. Jeff Horn doesn't want to do that tomorrow night against Gary Cochran. We've got 10 seconds to go. Is somebody going to throw one or two to finish? There's the bell. No, after the bell. Marvellous fight. The middleweight division, three three-minute rounds. I'm... As we look at the replay... If I had to pick, make a decision, I'd probably be leaning to the red corner. But a lot of the punches were 
over the top of the shoulder. And as we saw in the previous fight, we had to wait for the decision. So it was very close. So the referee will bring them out. The decision will be made shortly. With a wonderful night, Vanuatu won both their fights on points. Here's the decision. Red corner, I got it. As I said, I thought just the points. That will work for would, would win him the fight. But a wonderful performance from the Tongans. The Samoans will be back to fight another day. So that brings us to an end of our boxing here of the Cormac Stadium as we look at some of the replay. We've had a wonderful night of boxing. Why wouldn't it be with Vanuatu having two fighters, Johnny Silvers and Lewis Silvers, winning both their fights, one in the lightweight, one in the middleweights. We've had some wonderful fights. They've all been points decisions. I think the last two have been split points. But a wonderful night of boxing. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow for two sessions. Two o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And then seven o'clock tomorrow night. We'll look forward to your company then. But please keep watching. Of all the action from the Pacific Games here in Vanuatu. 